Good morning guys, Matt Pinnacle Angling. Today, we, uh, it's a Monday morning, it's really fresh. Uh, it's February, so I'm not holding out much hope for the fishing. It's, it's always a tough month to fish, February. Um, today we're coming down to Ogmore Deeps. Uh, pretty much hoping the dogs are running and maybe the outside chance of a, a small eye ray. So we'll, uh, we'll get down there, get set up. Uh, we got a bit of a northeasterly wind today, which on Ogmore Deeps is perfect because it's going to come over the top of the cliff and it's not going to affect you at all. Weather looks pretty good today. We've got no no rain forecast and we're out of the wind, so I'm hoping for a nice comfortable day. But uh, you never know. So. Now the way we're getting down to the deeps today, we're walking down the valley or Heartbreak Hill as some people call it but um, it's uh, it's an easy way to get down the deeps it's an easy way to get down but obviously what goes down must come back up so if, uh, if you're not physically fit or don't fancy walking probably 300, 300 meters with uphill with all the gear on your back then maybe this isn't the way for you to come down but, uh, it's the way I always come now where we go, we, we'll get down, get set up I'll show you a bit of scenery play you a little bit of music and then hopefully we can get into the fish see you soon hasn't been cast out very far, baited with uh, bluey bait, but it has just completely dropped to the floor. There you go guys, first cast. Wasn't really expecting much other than dogs today, but we've gone and landed a nice sporty. Nothing big, nice male. And uh, he looks straight in the lip, so first cast dropped me uh, slack. And uh, he's, he's taking a bit uh, right in the lip, so I'll uh, get him unhooked, come back to you with him. And uh, yeah, it's the second race species of the year. Happy days. Right, the baits I'm using today, guys. Um, pull the bait part out of the freezer. I've got some um, snake lawns, a heron, a bluey, and about six squid in there. So that should see me through today's session. Two rods. Uh, as you can see, every bait in there the dogfish absolutely love. So 
I'm I, I'm expecting um, I'm expecting my baits to attract some dogfish today, but I'm ho also hoping to get into into a small eye as well. Uh, as you see, we've already had this spotted. Uh, hopefully, there's a small eye out there that uh, that wants to take a bait as well. But uh, fingers crossed. Right, another major. What we're going to bait up now is a launch bait. Um, it's going to be straight launch. Don't really think you need to put anything with the launch because uh, it's such a good bait on its own. It uh, really, really good for the um, for the ray species. But as I said, also the dogs love them. But you you catch bass on there. You could catch codlin on there. You can catch whatever on there. So we'll, uh, pretty versatile bait as normal. In down through the head bit. And then I come back out. Still a bit frozen, so I come back out, straighten it up. Gotta make sure the hook point is nice and proud. Otherwise, uh, you mask the hook point, then uh, you're, you're, you're always running the risk of not hooking into the fish. Bit of elastic. Few whippings just to. Uh, Hold it all in place, and the tide. The tide isn't massive today. I think it's about, um, I think it's about ten and a half meters. So there doesn't seem to be a lot of tide run out there at the moment. But uh, we're about three hours before high water. So thing with Ogmore deeps is it's usually on on the on the ebb is when the tide really starts to rip. But on the bigger tides, you've um, you've either got to up your uh, your lead your lead weight to try and hold bottom, but or throw it a little bit closer in to try and stay out of the tide. It's a good thing with the deeps, uh, you know, it's, it's called the deeps for a reason. It, it's a pretty good depth of water here, and you don't really need a lot of distance to be into um, into some decent fish. I've seen conger eels off here about 60, 70 yards, and they've been absolute monsters. So, sorry, just for losing that one. <laughs> I mixed my um, mixed my rigs up a little bit today. Um, I'm trying some uh, some new hooks. So we've got a three O, like a specimen hook on the bottom end, if you want. And then uh, I've got like a a chinu style hook on the top end. So just trying something different today, just uh, seeing if it brings any more luck. Well, that that spotted was um, as most rays are usually it was taken on the bottom so yeah we'll, uh, we'll get that out there now and hopefully we can get into the second fish of the session but it is looking like it's going to turn into a beautiful day sun's coming up over the um, over the, the mountain by there now so we'll get this one out there Well, there you go, guys. On the um, on the new hooks that I'm testing, the Chinu hook on the panel straight in the corner of the mouth on the small eye. Didn't really have much of a bite on the rod off him. It was um, a little bit slack. So that's two casts, two slack lines, two two species of ray. So it's um, definitely turning out to be a great session. Do you think it'd be too much for me to ask for a blonde and a thorny in the same session as well? I think probably so, but. He's about six pounds, nothing massive, so what we're going to do, we're going to get some pictures with him and uh, we'll get him back. But uh, Ogmo Deeps is definitely producing the goods today. Right guys, it's about two hours before high water now and uh, my mate Craig has just kindly donated a white in to me, which uh, he just caught. So we've, um, we've cut him up. 
put him on and we're going to send him out hopefully this one's not going to go out very far it's only going to go about 30 40 yards just to see if uh if there's any hungry congas uh just patrolling the um the rocks closer in so we get him out and fingers crossed he can uh he can pull us out the third third species of the session Well, that isn't what you want to see when uh, when you're trying to pull in a white in bed. My guess is eel, but I guess we'll never know. It's gone really quiet since uh, since about an hour before high water. So uh, since we got bitten off through that 80 pound line, we're uh, gonna pull the big guns out now. Three hook flapper, squid and mackerel. Hope uh, hope we can try and pull a white in out, get some more bait, and add another species to the list for 2023. So hopefully we can get some more fish before the end of the session. But uh, if we don't, it's, it's still been a successful day anyway. So we'll uh, we'll get this out there now, and hopefully, hopefully we can get back into the into the fish. Hopefully, a white in. There you go guys, we've got the white thing we've been looking for. Um, probably get a nice four baits out of him. And uh, it's an extra species to add to the card today. Four fish, four different species. So, Ogmo's definitely produced the goods. We'll, uh, we'll get him dispatched. And uh, I'll share him with Craig because Craig shared his with me earlier on. So, uh, fingers crossed. We can get a fifth species which might be a nice eel. So, we'll get him, we'll get him dispatched, get him on a hook. And uh, fingers crossed, next time you see him, you'll be hanging out of the big mouth of a big conga. Well guys, I was expecting them to show up eventually and they have showed up now. Um, this is the first one for myself, but um, Craig, my fishing partner today, he's already had about five dogs. So the, uh, the dogs are definitely starting to run, which to be honest though, in February is not really a bad thing because it's a tough month to fish. And when these things are running in numbers, we all know how much of a nuisance they can be. So at least there's, there's more fish in the water now. So. Uh, the dogs are coming thick and fast now. Uh, seems to be a dog a cast at the moment uh, for the two of us. So I'm hoping we're going to be able to fight through the dogs to get to another species. But that's fish number 
five or six. I'm not sure, um, but it's they are uh, they are they are showing up in in numbers now. So fingers crossed. This is not how we finish the session. Fingers crossed we can get something uh, another decent fish for you. But um, yeah, this when when the dogs start running, they are relentless. So we get him unlocked, get him back, and then uh, hopefully we can land something special on that white then. Right guys, he went off absolutely carnage in the end. Tangled lines, dogfish everywhere. So I think we can end the session on this one. Uh, pretty successful session, four different species. Um, we had a spotted, a small eyed, a white thing and, and dogfish. Uh, but these guys have absolutely shown up in numbers now. So we'd, uh, we're calling it a day. And uh, we let, uh, let the next anglers come and get them. So guys, if, do me a favor. If you've enjoyed the video, drop a like on the video, share it with a friend. Really that helps me to get my content out there to other people. At the time of filming, uh, we're currently sitting on 925 subscribers. So if you watch the videos, if you enjoy them, guys, drop a like, go over, subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, it doesn't cost anything. And we're doing monthly videos. So let's try and get that 1,000. And uh, if I could get the 1,000 a year, I'm 40, I'll be, uh, I'll be very happy. So thank you all for watching, guys. See you next time.